were the Millers. Absolutely wrong in every way, raunchy, disgusting, but totally hilarious. I thoroughly enjoyed myself throughout this movie, and one of the reasons being is that at 44 years of age, Jennifer Aniston is still really hot. But her hotness wasn't the only reason that this movie was good. This movie was consistently funny all the way through, and that's what I like in a comedy. I don't just want a comedy where there are spurts and spots of it that are funny, and then it goes 20 minutes without being funny, and then another funny part comes in. I want a movie that consistently makes me laugh almost every minute of the film, and this movie did just that. I actually went in this movie with high expectations, just because when I saw the previews, I was totally laughing, and I gotta admit, after I saw the movie Horrible Bosses, I'm a big fan of Jason Sudeikis, and he played his part well. But I'm, now I'm going to give you a little background in this movie. Well, it stars Jason Sudeikis and Jennifer Aniston. Jennifer Aniston's a stripper, and Jason Sudeikis is a pot dealer. And he gets jumped, and he loses all his stash and all his money. So his boss, whose name is Brad, and it's Ed Helms from The Hangover, uh, tells him to go down to Mexico and pick up a lot of pot. But it turns out this pot was not his to take, and his boss really didn't even expect him to survive this journey. And the way Jason Sudeikis gets across the border both ways is he hires a little runaway, a nerd who lives in his building, and Jennifer Aniston, who's a stripper, dress up as his family. Jennifer Aniston's the wife, the nerd is the son, and the runaway is the daughter. And the son was really good as well, as I would have been cracking up in the scenes he had to do, because... He had some really, really funny scenes, and he pulled it off well. I've been hearing a lot of people saying about this movie how it kind of gets stale after the first hour, and I really didn't think so. I went with my friend, and we were both dying in this movie. We were cracking up all the way through. And even with all the laughs, there was still some scenes where you could tell that there was some emotion and feeling in it, and I enjoyed that because I like that in a comedy movie. And to be honest, I haven't seen a a comedy this good since The Hangover, and I really liked it. And for me to compare this to The Hangover is big, because The Hangover is definitely in my top three comedies of all time. I love that movie. It's it's hilarious all the way through. And that this even compares to it is big, because not many movies can. And I gotta admit, they all the actors nailed their parts. The script was funny. I thoroughly enjoyed myself throughout this whole movie, and I liked it every moment I was watching it. So I definitely recommend seeing this movie just for the laughs, the entertainment, the enjoyment you'll get out of watching it. The cast is good, the script is good, and overall I'd probably give it a solid 8.5 or 9 out of 10. So I give it a thumbs up guys, go see We're the Millers, I definitely recommend it. You'll laugh hysterically throughout the movie, and it'll be a good time for you and whoever you go with. Alright guys, well this has been Sorting the Truth and I'll see you later.